Hi everyone, Robert here. Let's do top 10. I, well, I looked through my uh, movie collection and just grabbed titles off the shelf because um, I have no brain space to think right now. So that's what I've done. Um, disclaimers apply, same as everyone else's. Uh, they'll probably change in the next hour or so. I'll think of something that I should have put on here and go, damn it. Anyway, um, what did I pull off? I got Martyrs, love Martyrs. I love, I love uh, mean movies. I love uh, movies that are just full of despair <laughs> and anguish. And, uh, and I really love that this one um, kind of has its cake and eats it too. It's like got haunting ghost elements, almost found footage stuff. And then it, it's got home invasion. It's got <laughs> cult. It's got, like, it's like, it changes what film it is like six times, but without ever, uh, becoming uncohesive. It, it, it all actually works together as a film and it's just, um, wonderfully brutal and really emotional um, great performances, love it, good fun. War of the Worlds, I don't know if this is horror, really, but uh, when you're three years old and you watch War of the Worlds, um, it scars you for life. I have legitimate PTSD from this film. Those, uh, those sound effects still trigger flight or fight in me. Um, and it made me a lifelong fan of sci-fi horror. It's probably my favourite subgenre. Um, next up I've got Brain Dead or Dead Alive. Um it was between this and Evil Dead 2. I was trying to think of, you know, that kind of um eighties horror comedy. This one just edged out in front because the narrative story structure feels more at home with me. Um, but love Evil Dead 2 as well. Uh the okay. <laughs> The Piano Teacher. No, it's not The Piano Teacher. I just could not find my copy of Funny Games. I really wanted to put Funny Games on the list. And I have no idea where my disc is. Um, someone must have it. So uh, this is Funny Games. But, I mean, The Piano Teacher is great. It's not really a horror film. But um, Funny Games is a wonderful uh, sort of subversion of horror tropes. Uh, again, a wonderfully mean film. I love that. Um, a, kind of a big middle finger to the audience. <laughs> um, which can get annoying. It is a bit, it is a bit intellectual and fussy, but <laughs> there's, there's, there's a lot of fun to be had with it too. Um, Black Christmas is my favorite slasher film. Uh, slasher isn't really my favorite subgenre of horror, but I really love Black Christmas for some reason. It always, like, it, every time I rewatch it, it just surprises me how constantly effective it is. It hasn't diminished at all. Um, Cabin in the Woods, another horror comedy. I do like horror comedy um, a lot. And this one were... Well, this one's just a, a personal special spot in my heart because it turned me into a political activist. <laughs> Uh, Cure. This is a Kyoshi Kurosawa film. Um, again, maybe not quite horror. I have, I have this uh, strange feeling that horror might not be my favorite genre, which is a weird thing to admit on here. But I was looking through all the films, thinking uh, none of them would be like all-time favorite films. Um, but everything that I love is, is always kind of just horror adjacent or a mixed mashup of horror and, and other things. And Cure is, is one of these kind of things. It's like a police procedural detective story, but this one um, just got under my skin. And uh, yeah, once you've seen it, you can't unsee it. It's like it's there in the back of your mind, just living there. Love that. Um, the Ring... The American remake of The Ring. I love the original Ring. This one is the first one I saw and the one I saw in the cinema. I think watching this in the cinema 
Um, I'm pretty sure that's the scaredest I've ever been watching a movie at the cinema. Um, it, I was just I was just the right age when I went to see it in high school, and um, it was just the perfect crowd. <laughs> it was awesome. Uh, Lake Mungo, great Australian Australian horror film. Um, that's um, just a beautiful meditation on grief <laughs> and also it's it's a little bit kind of like I mean it's documentary style but it's a little bit found footage horror and I really love found footage horror and I didn't have any other found footage on my list so I just wanted to chuck that in weirdly uh, this film, last film probably isn't really a horror film at all and it's another Japanese one, it's Visitor Q um, but this film is hilarious and so dark I, I think I think it's such a dark comedy that the darkness has got far enough to become horror it, it, it it's horrifying but basically if you look at it like uh, uh, Mary Poppins or E.T. it's that that old classic outsider that comes into a, a broken family and helps fix all their problems and then leaves one day <laughs> um it's it's that story but uh just everything is wrong <laughs> um uh it's it's a delight uh i i was gonna put in audition i know that's probably takashi Miku's more famous horror film it's a lot of japanese i have a I seem to have an affinity for japanese films um but yeah um i am now gonna probably stay up way too late watching everybody else's videos um thanks for listening